Alrighty then, ladies and gentle folk, I apologize for the audio being off to one side here, but uh, in this video I'm going over the land rig one more time. So I've got a bit of an update here on the build. Um, as you can see, the heat killer block has come in, so you can see that on the CPU right there. Um, what you'll also see is that the water block for the GPU is now mounted, um, which is at Radeon 7. So it's got the full um, alpha cool water block on there. And the card's going to be more or less, you know, mounted this way. The only difference is the screws will end up getting painted black to kind of match the case a little bit more. And it's going to have a little bracket kind of holding it in place here so that it doesn't end up kind of bouncing around all over the place. And then it is going to have a PCIe connector that goes from the card um, to one of the lower PCIe ports right here, allowing it to basically mate to the motherboard as it stands. Um, now what you don't see mounted on here right now are the uh, fans that I had on here. I had some arctic fans, so those will be going on um, as well as, you know, a bunch of the pumps are going to be going in as well. So pumps are going to be sort of the next, uh, you know, the next stage for this build here. And then ultimately I'll end up kind of wiring up all of the connections as much as possible. So I've spent some time doing cable organization. I've had to make a couple more modifications to the case as it was. So down here, I made a little cutout so that I can run cables sort of deeper and more along the back side because there's really nothing that I can do to run them below the chassis or kind of below sort of where the motherboard sits. Um, I also wanted them to be kind of as flush as I could against the side panel. And I've also cut away a bit of this kind of um, piece here, the edge piece, to route the cables a little bit smoother against the actual side panel here. That way I don't have a bulge uh, when this whole thing gets connected. And you'll see now when I flip this thing around that the interior looks a lot cleaner than the last video that I posted um, on this kind of update for this computer. So you will see that it looks a lot nicer inside now too. So now I did prop up a little light in here just so that it's more clear to see what's going on. But I've been mocking up some of the parts and more or less where they're going to go. So as you can see, there's going to be a reservoir that's going to sit right here. Um, I haven't decided that this one's going to be CPU or GPU just yet. Um, then in here, um, I have my Radeon 7 with the Alpha Cool water block mounted. Um, and this is going to look a lot cleaner once I kind of tighten everything up um, and make it, you know, a little bit more um, level with everything and not all bent and sideways. Um, this again is also sort of preliminary for now, just kind of testing to see, you know, where the second reservoir is going to fit for the CPU. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, the reservoir that's going to be uh, available for basically the VRM cooling is not really going to be a resin more. It's just going to live in the, um, in the tubing and then I'm going to have a drain valve for that so that I can always kind of refill and drain as needed. And then actually behind the GPU, I'm going to have um, an Asus a PCIe RAID controller that's going to live, you know, pretty much be just right behind it. Uh, that way I'm able to store um, as planned right now for terabytes of SSD storage connected via PCIe. I had originally planned to see if I could potentially use some kind of controller that fits within the DVD drive or sorry, the SSD drive bays, but I couldn't find anything that wasn't SATA. Um, pretty much all of them were SATA controllers and I didn't want that because I want higher speeds. Um, so that, you know, kind of went out the window. I looked at also just getting direct um, PCIe slot ins for um, each individual um, SSD at that point, but I realized pretty quickly that given my GPU, um, given the fact that I would also need to run um, a NIC, a 10 gig NIC in this card or in this uh, chassis so that I'm able to actually have the performance level um, on my network to be able to transfer files quickly, that that kind of layout uh, with the SSDs being slotted into the PCIe directly was just not going to work. So the only way that this was going to be functional was using the RAID controller um, over the PCIe. Um, and that way I'm getting the full, you know, time 16 bandwidth as opposed to going with a solution that was going to be SATA based in here. Or, you know, I did also find um, a couple of drives, basically, or what look like drives that can slot two SSDs each. But the issue then was that um, basically I would have to also have my operating system live on one of those and that creates a bunch of complications with the way that um, everything's kind of routed. 
and since I already have two SSDs in here that I didn't want to kind of shuffle around into other computers, um, I decided that it would just make a lot more sense again to just go with that PCIe solution that I mentioned earlier. Um, obviously still a lot of tubing still needs to get um, properly configured and there's still a lot of cleanup uh, that needs to happen with some of these cables that you see dangling around. You know, at this kind of point in time, it's just slowly coming together. Um, you know, pieces have been coming in uh, day by day uh, for this build, so I'm slowly kind of just trudging along. And so hopefully we'll have a really cool, neat build on this channel uh, completed by, um, you know, hopefully sometime this summer or at the end of summer, and I'll be able to kind of update you guys on how well this thing performs. I'm hoping that it does really well. Um, you know, right now it's got kind of the makings of a pretty cool uh, looking build and uh, ultimately it'll be kind of going around with me to a bunch of um, friends' houses, etc. Um, to be able to game on the go, uh, but at the same time have something that's, you know, a little bit more beefy than just a laptop uh, to carry me through gaming sessions. Um, again, for those of you who haven't been following along, this build has an FX 9590 CPU. Um, it is a ROG Hero motherboard, um, you know, as far as I know, I, I don't remember the exact model, I believe it's a Hero 5 uh, that's in here, and then the XFX Radeon 7 card with an Alpha Cool um, cooler in here, and I have a bunch of 120mm uh, rads that are going to be using um, sky fans up on top, and then uh, it's going to be using a bunch of arctic fans on this GPU cooler right there. So the top one's going to be CPU, um, one up in the front is going to be uh, the GPU cooler, and then there's going to be a cooler for the VRMs on the back over here, and then um, basically going to have a bunch of my pumps down in this section over here, uh, pumping the fluid around. 